assalamu alaikum everyone today i am going to teach you about highest common factor in this lesson students will learn how to use hcf in simple problem solving so how do you know when to use hcf in problem solving well if it's hcf word problems i will give you some hint words like greatest most largest for example a uh, greatest uh, greatest amount of uh, uh, baskets or the largest amount of groups can be created sometimes we can ask you about groups splitting shared equally no leftover or rows or sections can be created so if such type of words you can see in the problem sums you are going to find hcf that is highest common factor this would also tell you about hcf type questions let's solve first example Mr Ali is organizing his classroom supplies for students into baskets. He has 49 markers. I am going to circle this 49. It's better whether you are doing LCM type questions or HCF type questions. Numbers first thing you have to do, you are going to circle the numbers. Then 35 rulers and 42 glue sticks. What is the greatest number of baskets Mr Ali can make by using all the supplies? This is the first part of the question. So what are, what can I see over here? The first thing which I can see the word greatest. So what do you mean by greatest? Greatest means you have to find HCF. I gave you in the hint words. Next part of the question is how many of each supply will there be per basket? So what in the first part of the question what I am going to do? I am going to find the HCF. Now let's find HCF. So I am going to find the HCF of 49, 35, and 42. As you know that we usually start with the smallest prime number two, but these numbers are odd numbers. They are not divisible by two. So these all three numbers as it's HCF. So I am going to check the number which div which divide all these three numbers. So that number is seven. I will divide with seven. Seven times seven is forty nine. Seven fives are thirty five, and seven six are forty two. Now all these numbers seven five six are not divisible with the same table. So my HCF is seven. Now, once I find the HCF, it's very easy for me to find the second part of the question. That is, how many of each supply, each item, will there be per basket? Now, what I have to do, um, I have how many markers? Forty-nine markers. So, what I will do, I am going to, and how many uh, baskets are there? That is seven baskets. So, I am going to divide this forty-nine with seven, and I will get seven. So how many markers are there? There are seven markers in each basket. Next is how many rulers are there? So rulers, total rulers are thirty-five. I will again take my HCF that is seven and divide with the thirty-five. So seven times five is thirty-five. There are five rulers in each basket. Then next comes to the forty-two glue sticks. Again I will take my HCF. HCF is seven. So I will divide seven with forty-two. I will get six. Six times seven is forty-two. So six. These are the glue sticks. This is how. Once you have find the HCF, it's very easy for you to find how many items per basket. So I in this question, I have seven markers, five rulers, and six glue sticks in each basket, and the greatest number of baskets are seven. Let's solve one more example. Mrs. Ali makes balloon arrangements. She has thirty-two blue balloons, twenty-four yellow balloons, and sixteen white balloons. Each arrangement must have the same number of each color. So, what is the greatest number of arrangement that Mrs. Ali can make if every balloon is used? What you have to find, I can see over here. the word greatest now greatest means you have to find hcf so 
So let's find HCF of the given numbers. What are the given numbers? That is 32 and 24. So let's divide. As you know, 32 and 24 both are even numbers. So I am going to divide with, start with the smallest prime number, 2. 16 times 2 is 32 and 12 times 2 is 24. Again, these both numbers are even numbers, so they are divisible by 2. 2 times 8 is 16 and 2 times 6 is 12. Again, they are even number, so I will divide with 2. 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 times 3 is 6. Now, 4 and 3 are not divisible with the same table. So, what is my HCF? HCF is, you are going to multiply these prime numbers. So, 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. So, my HCF is 8. It means arrangement of balloon is 8. Now, I have to find how many blue balloons are there. So, total blue balloons are 32 and the number of arrangement of balloons is 8. So, I am going to divide with the HCF that is 32 divided by 8 is 4. So, how many blue balloons? Blue balloons are 4. Now, come to the yellow balloons. Yellow balloons are 24. So, again I have to take my HCF and divide with 8. So, 8 3s are 24. So, 3 are the yellow balloons. Now come to the white balloons. I have to find how many uh, white balloons in the arrangement of balloons. So there are 16 balloons total. I will again take my HCF that is 8 and divide 16 with 8 I will get 2. So 2 are white balloons, 4 are blue balloons, 3 are yellow balloons and 2 are white balloons. So if in the question it's greatest, what you have to find? You have to find HCF. Let's solve one more example. Abdullah is helping his classmates get ready for their math test by making identical packages. What do you mean by identical packages? Identical means same packages of pens and pencils. Now he has 32 pens, 48 pencils. He must use all the pens and pencils if Abdullah creates greatest number of packages. So what do you mean by greatest? Greatest mean what you have to find? HCF. Package is possible, then how many pencils will be there in each packet? So as you know, the word greatest I can see over here. So you have to find HCF of the given numbers, that is pens and pencils. So I'm going to find the HCF of 32 and 48. So both these numbers are even numbers, it will go with 2, let's start with the smallest prime number that is 2, 2 times 16 is 32 and 2 times 24 is 48. Again it's divisible by 2, so 2, 8 and 2, 12. Now 2, 4 and 2, 6. Again they are divisible by with 2, 2, 2 are 4 and 2, 3 are 6. So 2 and 3 are not divisible with the same table. So I am going to stop my answer over here and I am going to find the HCF. Now HCF is you are going to multiply all these prime factorization like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8 and 8 to the 16. So number of packages he is going to make that is 16 packets he will make. Now, how many number of pencils are there? So, once you have find the HCF, it's very easy for you to find the number of pencils because total pencils are 48. So, divide 48 with 16, that is HCF. And your answer will be 3. So, number of pencils in each packet is 3. Next is, Peter is planning his birthday party. His mom said she would make 18 personal pizzas. So 18 personal pizza, 27 cup cupcakes are there, 
for the party how many total people can peter have at his party so this is the first thing which you have to find so the pizzas and cupcakes are shared equally you remember i told you that please shared equally if this word gam if you can if you will see the word shared equally or left over you are going to find hcf among his friends how many pizzas and cupcakes will each person receive so we are going to first part is how many people you are going to find how many people total number of people in the party so let's find as you know the shared equally word they have used so we are going to find hcf so let's find hcf of the pizzas and cupcakes so the word is 18 and 27 we are going to find the hcf of these two numbers now you know 18 and 27 are divisible with 3 so 6 threes are 18 and 6 nines are 27 again they are divisible with 3 3 twos are 6 and 3 times 3 is 9 now 2 and 3 does not uh, come in the same table so this is my hcf hcf equals to 3 times 3 that is 9 Now, how many people in the party? Nine. Now you have to second. There is a second part of the question. How many pizzas and cupcakes will each person get? So, what you have to do? How many total pizzas? Eighteen. So, if you divide eighteen with the HCF, that is nine, you will get two. So, each person will get two pizzas. Next, how many cupcakes they will get? How many total cupcakes are there? Twenty-seven. So I am going to divide twenty-seven with nine. The answer will be three. So each person will get two pizzas and three cupcakes. This is how you can do such type of HCF type problem sums by looking at the words which are given in the question, like shared equally, no leftover, or you can see um, highest, greatest. So these are the HCF type questions. I think so. You have learned. Mm, from this video and uh, now it's your turn you are going to solve this question mr ali has 84 packs of chocolates and 56 juice boxes he wants to share them equally with all his friends how many students does mr ali have in his class and second part of this question is how many packs of chocolates and juice boxes will each student receive i hope you like my video thank you so much